what's in the, what's in the You house? dumbass. <laughs> okay, Jill, here's what I use um, for the chain lube. Extra tack, anti-wear system, chain lube, cleans, lubricates, protects, conventional, and O-ring chain. I do believe your Kawasaki has an O-ring chain. It's a little pricey. It's uh, $15.25 for 15 and a half ounces. But anyway, the special feature about this is it doesn't, uh, doesn't stick to anything but the chain. Okay, so we got this tube, and it goes in here, maybe, yeah, there it goes. Okay, so what I do is I got the chain guard right here, and I got exposed chain up there, so I'm going to shoot that, and I'm not too worried about keeping it clean. But this tube really makes it real easy. And I make sure I get it down here on the sprocket. And I've already got the underside. And then since I can get to my sprocket, I shoot the top of that. And now I roll the bike back. It's not easy on non-smooth concrete. Okay, so that lets me add a little more of the chain. But I do believe yours has an O-ring chain. Which, O-ring chains are just the shit from hell because they are totally wonderful. They're supposed to be self-lubricated from day one, but I don't trust it. But like I said, this stuff, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't stick to my swing arm, which is this. And, uh, I really like it a lot. It's easy cleanup. Hit it with a pressure washer. It doesn't screw with it. Um, Lori Jennifer, this is my shock. This is where I adjust the dampener, or not the dampener, the uh, strength of the shock. I know your spring's red, but um, I think this is the mark right here. I've got it set on one. Because I'm not really carrying a load. I adjusted it yesterday after I stripped all the bags off. It's like my kickstand bolts coming out. Hmm, something I'll have to look at. I have to start trying to tighten that up and see what it does. Let's see. Okay. This is where I took my one remaining saddlebag. I took the two bags over and the dude can't fix them. So I use zip strips to tie the back of the bag down, which is actually the top. And I use the existing straps. I put them around here on my rack, tied them down. And then when I go to work in the morning, I've got these to tie my work bag down. And this is my Walmart seat cover. It was uh, $17.88. I had to order it, had it shipped to store so I didn't have to pay shipping. And I actually had to take my seat off. And I had to take a knife and heat it up with a lighter. Here's a good shot of it. I had to cut some notches out into this plastic here and that gives me a little softer ride I know uh, the burb said that 
when he rode that red one that he thought that seat was really comfortable. It's not very comfortable, I'm telling you, over extended miles. And from the video yesterday, this is the USS Vicksburg that I had my decal man. I gave him the pictures. I sent them to him on the internet. And then he had decals made. Picture decals. They can do wonderful things with it now. And this is the John A. Moore with the battle flag. And I just stuck them on the side panels because it was all black underneath here. And I wanted to dress it up a little bit. And then I got the fear of the goat there. So... <clears throat> Um, LJ, I was hoping to give you my uh, saddlebags after I got them sewed, but it's not going to happen because he can't fix it. So, that's just the way that's going to work. You're on your own. Bike Bandit's got the same saddlebags on clearance for $83. And that was what I was doing yesterday. I had to undo the snaps to take the uh, stuff from underneath. I had the stuff run underneath it so I could take them off. Normally they just go over the seat, which they do, and uh, then you can just unsnap them, throw them, over your, throw them over your head and wear them like a backpack, one front, one back. <clears throat> so if you go to a hotel room, then you can just carry all your shit in. But I still got two tank bags. This is just my little one. I got three total. Um, my other option is to put my Eiffel, Eiffel Series tank bags by Field Shearer on the back of that rack. <clears throat> but they're magnetic and most of my tail rack is plastic. There's metal underneath, but I'll have to figure out a way to tie it down. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to get that big luggage rack and I'm going to get the uh, the side panniers and I'm going to run down to the uh, surplus store today and see what they got for uh, ammo cans because that's another way you can do things. The uh, aluminum boxes are $307 for a set. But I don't want that much width. So, just some things I'm looking at. So, I'm going to roll the back, bike back and shoot some more oil and, and we'll go from there. Alright, later on. Bye.